Hello, I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your Cardboard Concierge. I'd like to welcome you to a Cardboard Coat Check video. Today, I am going to be opening this box, this game, Bastille from Queen Games. I am the Tabletop Bellhop, and normally I am here to answer your gaming game night questions. Today, that question happens to be, what's in this box? But I am willing to answer any of your gaming game night questions, whether those are game recommendations, um, how to plan an event, what to bring to a con, etc. Anything tabletop gaming related, I'm here to help you. You can send your questions to questions at tabletopbellhop.com. Or you can go to my website, tabletopbellhop.com, and click on Ask the Bellhop. Also on the website, you can find answers to the questions other gamers have asked. All kinds of topics have been covered. Most recently, it was the best casual games for four to six players. Before that, we were talking all about Origins, and we talked about Quan Prep. While you are watching this, before you leave, it'd be awesome if you hit either the follow or subscribe button, depending on if you're watching us on Twitch or YouTube. Enough self-promotion. Let's get into it and answer today's important question, what's in this box? So Bastille is a game from Queen Games. I received this game as a review copy from Travis at Origins Game Fair. So Travis, I went to Travis and I said, I really wanted to review Merlin. Merlin is a game by Stefan Feld. I got to play a demo of, I loved it. I really wanted to play Merlin, but it's good and it sold out, which makes sense. So I actually went to Travis and I said, what is the game you would most like to see promoted? What do you want people to show off? Because I don't have a preference. I'll, I'll review anything. I'll let you know. Except I just gave them the fair warning that I give everyone I work with. That I'm going to give my honest answer. I don't guarantee a positive review. If I happen to open this up tonight and the components are garbage, I'll let you know. And you get to see it live. I doubt that's going to be the case. Queen Games makes really nice looking games. But anyway, I went to Travis and said, okay, what do you want me to show off? And he said, you know what? I want you to grab Bastille. Because I think Bastille is a hidden gem. And it flew under the radar and is way too good a game for how little press it's getting. So here I am trying to help out Travis, assuming the game looks pretty good. Uh, this is step one. Today, I'm going to open this box. Sometime in the coming weeks, though, I'm going to get in a bunch of plays of this game. I'm going to talk about those plays on social media. Then eventually, I'm going to post a full review on the blog. You also get to hear us talking about it on our podcast, the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast. So enough background. Let's see what's in the box. All I have here is a craft knife just to make sure I can open this nice and easily and not cutting anything up. So, the revolution is coming. It's just a matter of time. It's Paris, a few weeks before the monumental event, and the different revolutionary factions are preparing themselves for the inevitable. They will need to assert their influence all over the city, searching for followers and gathering weapons. The player who best leverages their influence to make preparations at the Bastille in the catacombs and who gathers and fulfills their mission cards will win this game based around the French Revolution. I don't know, that just screams, I'm a Euro to me. Uh, this is a tactically delightful game with an innovative action selection mechanism. That's from them, not me. Um, I gotta say, I'll show you the back of the box in a second. It looks like a medium to heavy Euro. Kind of what I expect. Plays three to four players in 60 minutes. So I'm going to go more towards medium to light euro with that player count. Looks good from the back. I'm all about French Revolution. It doesn't seem to come with a guillotine playing piece though. This game is by Christophe Bear. It's not a designer I know. They may be famous for some other games, but nothing I played. No fancy inside the box this time. So right at the top, we have a board. We're going to move that out of the way. And we have punch boards. So I'm going to flip through these. What I already like is look how big those are and clear to see. Like those are going to be so easy to see across the table. No, I like that already. Like that is so clear. That is good iconography right there. I don't even know what these things do, but this sure looks like I'm going to get two things for every firework or for every torch. Or I'm going to get, need two torches for every four. I'm going to guess those are victory points, but I don't actually know. So again, I've not played this game. I've not seen a demo of this game. Travis at Queen Games seems to think it's fantastic, so we're going to find out. More counters. Lots of money. What are we collecting here? We got pitchforks, guns, and swords, so those are probably your weapons, and we have burning torches. And then we have coins of some type. Uh, Queen Games, always known for good components. These are nice, thick boards. 
thick, different than, and they punch easily, as you can see, as yes, some of these fall out right in front of me here. We just lost a five buck. There we go. Nice thick counters. Typical board game counters. Well cut. I can't see any marks showing how they were attached here. That's always a nice touch. Some rather dark, more tokens, counters. I'm going to put this down. Oh, yeah, these are probably player colors. White, black, red, and blue. That's my guess. Again, have not played the game. We have one of my favorite things I've ever seen in a game. Player summary sheets. Love them. Wow. Talk about language independent, though. They are really trying to uh, make this language independent. So we've got three different languages on here. And we have a very, wow, a lot of icons on the back. As far as I can tell, this is just telling you what the possible things are in each era. Queen Games is always well known for this. Here's a rule book. Here's another rule book. Here's another rule book. Because again, they prefer to be language independent. So instead of publishing different copies of the game from different countries, they just put the rules for all the different countries. I personally don't speak German or French. My kids could get the French copy. So here we go to the English rule book. I, I dig already that it's in the French colors. Like everything, even the backgrounds. Tons of pictures. I think there's more pictures on this page than there is text. Your typical layout the board. Another thing I really dig about Queen Games, and they are sticking to this, color coding. So every phase is a different color, as you can see here. And as we go deeper into the rule book, you will see that it's divided by colors. Something I've always appreciated from Queen Game. Playing the game, placing influence tiles, evaluating locations. There's a bunch of different locations. You got the Bank de Paris, Notre Dame, Versailles, the Catacombs, Place Lu Palace, no Place, Place Louis, the Bastille, and Etat General. So you got seven different worker placement spots. Again, all color coded to explain what they do. I don't know what the unique mechanic is. They brag in this. Again, really nice rule book. Tons of examples. Lots of graphics. Lots of text. Text is a little smaller than the last rule book I looked at, but that's very readable. Even for old eyes like mine. I dig it. The fact the rule book's a French flag in the background is not lost on me. Uh, lots of final scoring. Typical of Queen Games includes a variant. They tend to like to do that. Um, the back is just a summary of mission cards. Would have been nice to have a turn summary there, but maybe that's what that other card has. So, one thing Queen Games is not known for, and this doesn't change, is great box inserts. It's not terrible. It's better than a fancy flight. Colorful. Not really useful being very colorful like that. But you have a box insert. We have a baggie, so something's going to get pulled out randomly. We have wooden components. Oh, now I get the player colors. Player colors of the French flag again with black. Makes sense. I have no idea if that's good colorblind, though. So what do we have here? I am, to be honest, I'm going to make a mess here because I'm going to be able to clean this up later. I'm just going to dump this in here so I can hold up the different pieces. So we have, I would call it a meeple, but you can tell he's got that French Revolution Napoleon hat going on there. Again, we have the blue might be a little easier. So we have this in all three player colors. And then we have just cubes, literal cubes. So Queen Games is a very traditional Euro game maker with Euro game components. You're not going to find any fancy miniatures in their games, and I don't really think that's a bad thing. The other thing we have is cards. Again, there is the, the cigarette. Well, here, let's try it. Actually, that one is one of the easiest I've ever opened. Didn't even have to use a knife. Bonus points. Oh, man, again, talk about clear. Like, okay, come on, camera. Look at the iconography on that. Like, I, I don't know if these go down in front of you. You're going to be able to see that across the board. That is nice. I don't know what any of this means, but I love how clear the iconography is. Like, that's just good design right there. That is good design. Um, artwork's tolerable. It's okay. It's it's nothing fancy. Of course, I'm comparing it. I just looked at a uh, non-collectible card game with fantastic art. Serviceable art, but what I love is the functionality of these cards. Like, look how easy it is to see those symbols. All right, so we obviously have different types. So there was a whole bunch of those citizens. Now I have these, which I have no idea. Again, I haven't read the rules. 
These look like end game scoring or something. Yeah, these definitely look like end game scoring type of cards. Oh, Claire, I apologize. There we go. Yeah, we got all kinds of these. Oh, uh, we have all kinds of these victory point scoring cards. Yeah, this is definitely like, whoever has the most crowns. Whoever has the most gets six. Whoever's in second gets two. Very obvious. Like, I haven't even played the game, and I can tell that's what that is. Whoever has the most weapons is going to get points. See? Obvious. Looks like a solid euro. Uh, I know nothing about the game. It is... Component quality is exactly what I expect from Queen Games. Really nice cardboard. Nice wooden bits. Again, I kind of made a mess of them. I'll clean those up later. Nice card quality. Again, insert. Where do I put these cards? They're not going to slide everywhere. Can't help it. You know what? It is what it is. This is how companies like Broken Token make their money. Because that is going to be a mess. Looks pretty, though. It's got all the art. Not sure how that helps. So that's it. That, that's everything. We're going to put it all back in the box. What I do, see these, all these rule books? Here, here's here's the, the Tabletop Bellhop Pro Tip. The non-English rules go under this insert. See, non-English rules. Goodbye. Then they're still there. In case I ever decide to resell the game or something. Now I don't have to get them. They don't get in the way every time I play. Or open it. Uh, once all these are punched, again, where do they go in the insert? They just go loose. They're going to fall around. I'm going to have to go get some baggies. Bonus points if you include baggies in your game. I guess, hey, queen, there's your thumbs down. Lousy box insert, no baggies. At least give me baggies to put all this stuff in so it's not just... Can you hear that? It's not good. Other than that, though, looks great. Um, box inserts are kind of a modern thing. Queen Games, an old school company. I got to say, in 2019, there's not much of an excuse, though. So, Travis, if you're watching this, game may be great, but include some baggies, at least, if you guys aren't going to start developing box inserts. So that was Bastille from Queen Games. That was the unboxing. Um, just watch my social media. I can be found everywhere as Tabletop Bellhop, one word, and I'm sure they'll be talking about the game as I play it. Eventually, there will be a full review released on my website, which is tabletopbellhop.com. Now, the big thing we do is we are trying to be a Dear Abby for gamers. We want to answer your gaming and game night questions. You can send your questions to questions at tabletopbellhop.com or go over to the website, tabletopbellhop.com, and click on Ask the Bellhop. Now, as for the answers to other people's questions, you can catch those all over the place. You can read them on the blog. You can watch them on YouTube or here on Twitch, tabletop or twitch.tv slash tabletop bellhop or youtube.com slash tabletop bellhop, everywhere, tabletop bellhop. Or go to the webpage and read them, tabletopbellhop.com, or you can listen to them. So grab your podcatcher, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, whatever you prefer to use, and search for the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast. Now, if you want to watch us record that live, where we like to interact with our lobby, the chat room, we do a whole hotel theme thing, right, with the Tabletop Bellhop thing. If you want to join us live, you can catch us recording every episode of the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast on Wednesday nights. That's at twitch.tv forward slash Tabletop Bellhop at 9.30 p.m. Eastern. Currently, that's Eastern Daylight Time, but that'll switch because of weird people thinking that if they take an hour off one end and add it the other, it gets longer or shorter. But anyway, enough about time zones. So for the Tabletop Bellhop, I am Mo Tuzano. If you appreciate this video and the other work we've done, it'd be cool if you went over to patreon.com forward slash Tabletop Bellhop and took a look at our Patreon account. For Tabletop Bellhop, I'm Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop. This has been a cardboard coat check where we checked in Bastille from Queen Games. Good night and game on.